what would you do with equality? It doesn't make money. It means that other people would have to have human rights. Capitalism has no room for, it has no will to have freedom and equality for everyone. We're capitalists. We are pure capitalists. Don't be that way. Get too greedy. Leave it alone. Why are you throwing that oil? What we tried to do with this virtual reality project is put the audience in the body of the super predator. I thought I would create a piece so that they can actually see themselves, what it's like to be destroyers, to be the people that are the, the super predators, and to see themselves. In this experience, you put on the mask of the super predator, you have hands that look like Lawrence's paintings, having a joyful experience of creating a surrealist landscape in Lawrence's art style. So as you throw this paint and you enjoy this world, you're also simultaneously destroying it. And so the realization is that the world is being destroyed and you're involved in that. Yes, we should be moving away from fossil fuels. The plastic world that we have the problems of the oceans that we have, the temperature of the planet. This is capitalism. They have the right to be death bringers. You have the right to be the destroyer and not care about the biosphere. The capitalist system that is destroying this planet, pipeline through the mountains, cutting down all the trees and poisoning all the rivers and tracking everything and killing all the salmon killing all the birds, deforestation everywhere. This is the problem of the two-faced colonial construct. You know, this is the new world order. I am the great spirit bear that roams this land. You have to be kind to this land. Look after this land as you walk with me. This is sacred land. You're only a guest. I am Yaquilipton, or Let's Lostleton, or Lawrence Paul. I'm an artist, and I'm dealing with unceded territories. When I say this is unceded territories, I have never surrendered this to you. I will never give this land up to any of you Canadians or your queen. Never. I will never give it up. I will never sing your national anthem. These are things that I stand true to. my feelings and I'm not about to change those. That's why I make art the way I do, is that my time is now. A lot of my work deals with the colonial occupation that Native people have had to endure and I think that's what my work is doing, is to 
is to record history and not so much affecting traditionalism. I'm a modernist. I'm dealing with modern issues of modern times. All of these things that I talk about for come from the past. I've had to go into the past to talk about the future because when you're so busy being oppressed, you have very little time to deal with your own history. My job is to enlighten people, to entertain people, to give them joy, to give them a better understanding of our free will. We are human beings and we deserve the right to be here, not in the conditions that we are. These are paintings to talk to the outside world and the treatment of First Nations peoples from around the world that are confronting the same colonial destruction of their homelands as much as any other Indigenous peoples from around the world. I am Yaquilipton, or Letzlotzlotan, or Lawrence Paul. Colonialism is going to gobble up this planet. I'm looking at the protection of our traditional territories. No, you can't have oil tankers. No, you can't have pipelines coming through this province. You can't buy a biosphere. This province was never ready for one small little oil spill in this bay. Can this province afford 500 years of an oil spill in the harbor of Vancouver? You will contaminate the beaches. Everything will be under oil. Does Tourism Canada handle 500 years of a smelly harbor that smells like oil? No. Having pipelines in this province, it is not within the best of interest of our people to have them. So I want people to join with me to say no. And that's what I'm doing, is that my work is about a protest of colonialism and its rule. Is that it's not, might is not always right. Today I'm saying no. We can't stop global warming because of greed and it's their greed that's going to kill them. Global warming is underway and that's their crowding pivot of pure supremacy that they could control the world. They have all the everything at their disposal. We know what this world is doing. We do know what's going to happen. It's ugly. It's, it's pure power. They can't get enough of it. We're so used to extermination. It is the answer to colonialism. If you get in our way, I will exterminate you. Our youth has got a lot of energy. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, how do you shut down capitalism? How do you create a revolution? We have standing armies, we have secret police. This is globally which is going on, so it's, it's an illogical philosophy. To live for the moment, and whoever has this planet, when their time comes, well, that's all that's left. People are going to be born into this planet. There's going to be no more mammals on this world. You get the oceans really super hot, you're going to start to get global red tides. 
I didn't wish this upon anybody. People! People! I didn't make all these things up. Power! Power! I'm not the one that killed all the grizzly bears. Mother! Mother! I'm not the one that killed all the buffalo. Future! Future! I'm not the one that created a country and then didn't include them into the Bill of Human Rights and didn't allow them to be citizens of this country. Yeah, it's okay to look down on me. Selfish ways of racism. What do we want? A cookie! How many do we want? Two! So I'm having another bad colonial day here in British Columbia. You think my spirit bear's gonna let you into the spirit world? door's going to be closed. We're going to go into our own spirit world. Well, I don't want to be hanging around the colonial spirit world after death. <laughs> the little savage tried and tried and tried, but they were so busy killing us. They just couldn't accept the idea. No, this is not going to happen to the world. Well, it is happening. It is here. Global warming is on right now. And it's going to win. All the scientists of the world have asked the question, how do you stop global warming? Tell me that there is something that's going to happen that's going to save this planet. Give me some sort of words of peace and tranquility within capitalism, cleaning up this mess. Think of a socialist concept or just think of a world where everybody could get along, where all people could have medical, where all people could have education. How dare you even think of that? If you're anti-capitalist, you're a communist. A true socialist world has never been tried, which means having a revolution. Let's stop this system which is destroying this world. Let's outlaw the concept. Greed. Such a dominating force for the last 500 years. How could you unteach greed? That is the biggest factor in the history of civilization that, that is driving global warming. We don't need all that. What we need is an understanding. You'd have to create equality for everyone. That is not within their best of their interest because it means that wealth would no longer exist. But they can't say that, well, we have a solution to fix this problem. And they have all the smartest scientists in the world working on this problem. We know what global warming is. We know what climate change is. But if I give you the answers to the equation, will anyone even listen? They've had meetings and meetings and talks and talks. And colonialism, it has never been designed to care for. The colonial snake has wrapped itself around the earth and it's going to squeeze it like a cobra and keep squeezing it until the breath is no longer there.
Here comes Colonial Snake. dead. No more birds that sing. No more bears that wander around. No more deer. All of them are gone. If we want truth and reconciliation in this country, how can I reconcile with this country if they can't give me the truth? You can't stand on a world stage and talk about equalities and injustices that are genocides to other worldly peoples and point your fingers at other countries when in turn you're doing the same thing to the indigenous peoples here in Canada. I think as an artist it's important for younger people to understand that in this province they expect you to extinguish your inherent rights forever as land claims. This is an example of the Nishka deal, why I painted Chump Change the Last Stand. Do our children understand that when they formed the Confederation of British Columbia, they turned Indian people onto reservations? Is this going to be forever a legacy of reservations and segregation of internment camps? These are paintings to talk to the outside world and the treatment of First Nations peoples from around the world that are confronting the same colonial destruction of their homelands as much as any other Indigenous peoples from around the world. This is First Nations territories. This is traditional Native land. This is a province that belongs to Native people, but we are held hostage on reservations. How many thousands of Native children died in residential school? I'm a residential school survivor. Where do we go to have national monuments to mourn the death of all these children? These are things that we have to deal with. Is this the kind of country that you expect to continue? These are some of the issues that I have, and I think that's what my work is about, is to record history. Do I have the right to have an existential thought? Abolish the Indian Act and move on as a nation. that we should become municipalities and join this country, but let the native people do these things so that they can participate in this country. They don't want an extinguishment policy of their lands. I don't want to extinguish my lands to this government. I think we want to look after them.
You say justice, freedom. Justice, freedom, justice. I say children, you say future, children. Future, children, future. I say planet, you say power, planet. Power, power. I say people, you say power, people. The tools of technology just allow us to connect more deeply with the world around us. And that's my personal goal with the technology, because even if I didn't have technology, I'd still be talking to people. But this just allows like an interesting conversation to happen.